The topic of this video is the calculation of averages. Averages relates, relates to, to statistics and the idea behind averages is to figure out the mean or the arithmetic mean or the average of a group of data and uh, various word problems that are related to this particular topic. So let's say we have a list of values and we want to figure out the average of that set of data. Here we have four values, 3, 5, 8, and 12. And we wish to figure out the average of this set of values. So the average, the, the way to find the average is very simple. The average is always equal to the sum of all the values divided by the number of terms. Okay, so that's going to be 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 12 divided by 4. That's very easy. Okay, so the sum will be 28. And if you divide it by 4, you get an average which is equal to 7. So the answer is 7. Okay? So remember, whenever you want to figure out the average of a group of data, all that you need to do is add up all the values and divide by the number of terms. Here's a qu quick exercise for you. I want you to find the average for each of the following sets of data. Right. Please find the average for both these questions. Press the pause button, finish your calculations, and then you can check your answers. Okay, so the answer to the first question is going to be, the average is going to be the sum. So you add up all the numbers, uh, 10, 15, 22, 36, and 47. And when you add them up, your sum is going to be 130. So therefore, your average is going to be 130 upon, there are five terms, so you divide by five, and that would give you 26 as your answer. Okay? Right. Now let's check the second answer. So for the second answer, if you add up all of these values, the sum is going to be equal to minus 60. Therefore, the average is going to be equal to minus 60 divided by, there are six values in this set of data. So if you divide by six, you get minus 10. So the answer is minus 10. Okay? So all that you have to do to find this, the average of a set of data is to add up all the values and divide by the number of terms. Right. Now we're going to learn how to find the sum of a set of data when the average is already given to you. Now since the average is equal to sum upon number, if we cross multiply the number here, we get the formula that average multiplied by number is equal to sum. Okay, so that's very important for you. So anytime you want to find the sum of a set of data, you're going to simply multiply the average of that data with the number of terms. Very simple. Okay. For example, if, I, if a question tells you that uh, there are eight terms, eight values in the set of data, and the average is equal to 12, then what is the sum? So to find the sum, you're going to simply say, 12 times 8, which is equal to 96. That means that the sum of all the values in that group of data is going to be equal to 96. Right. I want you to solve these questions right now and find the sum for each of these sets of data. You have the average for each set and you also have the number of terms. So go ahead and hit the pause button and solve these questions and then press play to check what your answers are. Okay, so here are the solutions to these questions. Question number one, uh, the number of terms was 6 and the average was 15. So the sum is going to be 15 multiplied by 6, which is equal to 90. That's the answer to the first question. Question number two, the sum is going to be equal to the average, which is minus 2, 
multiplied by the number of terms, which is 9, and that gives you minus 18. So the answer is negative 18. And question 3. The sum is going to be equal to the average, which is 24, and you multiply by the number of terms, that is 15. 24 times 15 is equal to 360. Okay? I hope you got them all right. Okay, here's a simple word problem for you. Uh, there are five values, 5, 12, 18, 22, and x. And the average of these five numbers is equal to 20. Your job is to find the value of x. I want you to hit the pause button and try it yourself now. Okay, so here's the solution. We know that the sum of, we know that the average of these five numbers is 20. We also know that the average is calculated by adding up all the values and dividing by the number of terms. There are five terms in this set of data, so we just add them up. We say 5 plus 12 plus 18 plus 22 plus x, and then divided by 5, and we make that equal to 20. From here on, it's simple algebra. So you cross multiply the 5 here, you get now the sum of these numbers, you can write them as 57 plus x is equal to 20 times 5. So you get 57 plus x is equal to 100, and therefore x is equal to 100 minus 57, which is equal to 40. So that's your answer. The value of x is equal to 43. Here's a second example for you. Try this question. The average of 1, 3, 7, 12, 19, and x, that's six values, is equal to 11. Calculate the value of x. Try it yourself. Okay, here's the solution. So you add up all the values, so you have 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 12 plus 19 plus x, and then you say divided by 6, and this should be equal to 11. So now you solve the math. Uh, the sum of the values 1, 3, 7, 12, and 19 is 42, so you say 42 plus x is equal to you cross multiply the 6 here, you get 11 times 6, which is 66, and therefore x is 66 minus 42, which gives you 24. That's your answer. Okay, here's a third example. You have two sets of data given to you. The first set has an average of 5, and the number of terms is 8, and the second set has an average of 11 and the number of terms is 4. And your job is to find the average of all values of sets 1 and 2 put together. Okay? So try it out. Uh, press the pause button and then press play to check your answer. Right, so here's a solution. Remember that the average of any group of data is, has to be equal to the sum of all the values divided by the number of terms. Now, set 1 has an average of 5 and the number of terms is 8. So if I want to figure out the sum of values of set 1, it's going to be very simply average, which is 5, multiply the number of terms, which is 8. So you multiply 5 times 8, and that gives you 40. And the sum of the values of set 2 similarly, is going to be equal to the average, which is 11, and number of terms is 4, so 11 times 4, and that gives you 44. So to find the sum of all the values put together, you just add up 40 and 44, and that gives you 84. So all the values added together, their sum is 84. So therefore, the overall average of the sets of the values in sets 1 and 2 uh, is going to be equal to 84, which is the sum of all the values put together, divided by the number of terms. Now, the number of terms is very easy. 
you had 8 terms in the first set and 4 in the second. So if you add up 8 plus 4, that gives you 12. So you divide 84 by 12, and that gives you 7. So the answer is 7. This concept that we just learned is also known as weighted average. So weighted average allows us to figure out the average of two or more different sets of data put together. Uh, you can remember a very simple formula for weighted average. The weighted average is equal to the weighted average is equal to average one into quantity one. Okay, plus average 2 into quantity 2, plus average 3 into quantity 3, and so on and so forth, divided by quantity 1 plus quantity 2 plus quantity 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, because average 1 into quantity 1 will give you the sum of the first set. An average 2 into quantity 2 will give you the sum of the second set. An average 3 into quantity 3 will give you the sum of the third set. And so on and so forth. So when you add them all up, you get the sums of all the values together. And when you add up the quantities 1, 2, and 3, and so on and so forth, you get the number of all the terms together, which brings you to the simple formula that the average is always equal to the sum divided by the number. Okay? So here, this formula of weighted average is very, very useful. You must all remember this. Okay, I want you to try this question. There are three sets of data given to you. Set 1 has an average of 5 and the number of terms is 6. Set 2 has an average of 10 and the number of terms is 4. And set 3 has an average of 13 and the number of terms is 2. Please find the average of the values of all the three sets put together. Press pause right now and then press play to check your answer. All right, so here's a solution to this question. To find the weighted average, we're simply going to use the weighted average formula. So the weighted average here, remember, it was average one into quantity one. So average one is five and quantity one is six. So you say five times six plus average two into quantity two. So that's going to be 10 times four plus average 3 into quantity 3, and that's going to be 13 times 2, divided by the sum of all the quantities together, and that's going to be 6 plus 4 plus 2. So when you do the calculation, you'll get 30 plus 40 plus 26, divided by 12, and that gives you 96 upon 12, which is equal to 8. So the answer to this question is 8. So here's an example for you. Five boys in the class received an average score of 30 marks in an exam, and 10 girls in the same class got an average score of 45 in the same exam. You have to find the overall class average for that exam. Try this question, press the pause button right now, and then press play to check your answer. Right, so we're going to use weighted average to find the answer to this question. And the class average is going to be average 1, which is 30. That's the average of the boys, multiplied by the number of boys, which is 5, plus the average of the girls, which is 45, multiplied by their number, which is 10, divided by the total number of students. That's going to be 5 plus 10. So we'll get 150 plus 450 divided by 15, which is equal to 600 upon 15, and that's equal to 40. That will be the class average. That's your answer. So this was a video on the basic concepts of averages. I hope these were clear to you. See you in the next video.